Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, Juju did a great job in the last game. Uh, he had like four tackles, or was a part of like four of those kickoffs, uh, which was big. I think some of it, they kind of had miscounted him probably a little bit, maybe some of that due to what his role was in the previous games, and then his role changed a little bit uh, on that unit and his job description on those plays. And they might have mishandled it. But at the end of the day, gosh, he ran down there and, and did a great job in coverage. So that was exciting to see. Uh, it just was the uh, guys who we had active and active. Uh, obviously, the, like Chase Lucas was up, and so we moved him on that unit and played him at a different spot. We played him more of a spot where um, Juju was playing before, and so it was, I mean, it was kind of more personnel driven. It wasn't, yeah. Yeah, I, I would definitely say that. I would say you guys asked about starting across the 50-yard line the week before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's how, it, that's how it works. I mean, uh, the defense did a great job. The offense moved the ball all the way down the field. They didn't put it in, but they, whatever, stalled out on the three. And then the defense went in there and gets the safety. And then they're now punting to us. They can't kick it out of the back of the end zone. They got to punt it to us. Khalif's back there. Um, those guys did a great job blocking. He did a great job returning it. And then all of a sudden, you're past the 50 yard line. You create field position. Then the offense goes back in and scores. Um, but yeah, um, I would say that's definitely complimentary football. It was nice. How unique are those safety punt plays? Is that something that you really even practice that often since they come up so rarely? Yeah, so those plays are, we call them situational plays, but they're plays that they're really not a big deal until they're a big deal. Um, and you don't spend as much time working on them as some of the other plays. But when they come up, they're really critical in the game. Um, I felt like our guys went out there and did a great job of their execution. I mean, the blockers, the returner, um, the whole thing went kind of how we planned it, really. But uh, it doesn't always go that way. On the flip side, you know, they were covering the thing and it didn't work out for them like they wanted it to. Um, so they're big plays in the course of a game when they when they come up. You got to be able to execute them. We hit on a, a lot of those every single week, you know. But yeah, those guys did a good job. This is very general, but um, you know, we, a lot of times we'll ask about covering a receiver or you know exposing and going against a good cornerback. We don't always ask about sort of the X's and O's of special teams. For you, what um, I don't know what what's more difficult, like planning for a great returner or you know coordinator who's got some very unique schemes. Like how do you maybe you just set, shed some light on the sort of preparation that goes into a week? Yeah, I would say, I mean, this week we're going up against a good unit, so it's a good time to ask the question. They got a couple of good returners back there, very explosive players. Um, they got a bunch of really good core players. But I would say, I don't know, when it comes to the scheme and, and all that, I would say, you know, it, it really comes down to who they have and who you have. And you're trying to put your guys in a situation where they can. it's most advantageous for I think schematically in doing that, sometimes you need to be simple enough that you can move your guys around, you can get them in the right matchups. Um, so, I, I mean, the, the game's really a matchup game, I would say, at the end of the day. Um, and you have, to, you have to have enough plays in there that you can take advantage of situations, but you also have to have the right players going against, you know, the right players, you know, and match up well. Um, so it's just a, it's just a ever evolving, you know. This guy's really good at this, but not good at that. Let's make sure we get him in this situation, the other guy in that situation. And how can we do that against this team um, with what they do? It seems like your units have got off to a pretty good start to the season. We've talked about just not really knowing what you've got until you've seen it in action with with the new core. So with, with your your new, I guess, core of guys, what do you? What do you like um, about that group so far, and you know where do you see, I guess, need to tighten things up? Yeah, I would say, I mean, it, it's really early on in the process. I would say that. I mean, two games in, it takes four, five, six games till you really kind of see what you got. Um, 
And uh, we do have a huge challenge in front of us this week. Um, this is a really good group, in my opinion. They got a lot of really good players. Um, and uh, so it'll be fun. But I'm really excited about our group. I said that a couple of weeks ago, I think. And um, I mean, our guys play hard. Um, they really care about all these plays. There's some guys out there that take these plays off. These guys definitely don't. Um, they play them all with everything they got. Really, it's a direct reflection of the head coach. I mean, we talk about the grit and the attitude and toughness. And I mean, my job underneath Coach Campbell is a whole lot easier than it would be under different, you know, coaches because the emphasis he puts on it, because uh, the things that he values in a player. Um, and uh, so our guys have done, gone out there and, uh, and for the most part executed it fairly well in a lot of areas in the first two games. But the challenge with that is the better you play, the harder it gets, you know. And so anyways, uh, you kind of put a bullseye on your back and it, our jobs just get harder and harder. His role, he mostly on special teams last week. Just wondering your assessment of his contributions. Uh, yeah, he uh, played a little bit more for us than he had the week before. Um, and I thought he's he's done some really nice things for us. He's made some plays. He made some plays in the preseason on kickoff coverage. And then uh, he was a part of one of those plays on kickoff last week. Um, but uh, he, he's done a nice job, and we're excited about him. What, if anything, did you guys do on that, uh, that missed extra point? Was that part? You, you know what? Uh, yeah, we were just talking about that. Uh, I guess somebody had told me that Charles Harris said to them that he swore it hit his thumb, which he would know better than me, obviously. <laughs> but uh, I didn't know. That was the first time I'd heard of that. So I don't know if we got anything on it. I will say that those guys on field goal block have been playing well. They've been playing really hard. Same thing. There's there's guys out there that I don't want to say take the playoff, but don't play them with as much energy. And there's some teams that play them with more. And I would say you would have to say those guys are playing it with more. So it's been encouraging.